All right, here's one. I'm sure there are much better people than me that will be able to talk you through this, much more skilled people than me um, that will be able to talk you through this. Yeah, I'm in uh, Wisconsin. Uh, I'm here for the CrossFit Games and I'm just walking home after the first day. Let's walk this side so you get a nice, a nice background. Um, but I'm just mulling over a situation and if you haven't worked with consultants etc before, per perhaps this might be useful for you. Um, so you know that song, fool me once, more fool uh, you, uh, me, you, fool me twice, more fool me. That's kind of really what I want to talk about. So, so, so I have found that I've had the most joy in everything uh, through employing people and having a team, uh, whether they're uh, consultants that you bring in, such as architects, buildings fairs, project managers, builders, etc., or whether they're uh, employed within your within your business. It's when it goes well, it is joyful. It's exhilarating. It's inspiring. Oh, you know, two plus two making six or eight is just a wonderful place to be. When it goes badly, uh, you've got two choices. Uh, this is just my opinion. Uh, other people, more professional people in terms of HR will be probably better at uh, commenting on this and please do. But when it goes badly, uh, fool me once, more fool you, fool me t twice, more fool me, is, is, has been my experience. And in this particular instance, I'm thinking about a, p a particular um, consultancy that they, they're looking to charge us about 10,000 quid, which is, you know, not inexpensive. And a really work that should have been delivered in its entirety within the extremely long period of time that they think it's acceptable to deliver in has barely been touched with very little consultancy with me. Won't go into details because they kind of don't matter. Um, so I, I, I put in, I'm not a grumpy moaner, but I just put very clearly why I was frustrated so that um, it could be privately had a thought about. And their response was, well, we've kind of done the work. And I was like, ah, oh, you kind of haven't. <laughs> like zero chance that and and really at that point I've, I've got a choice haven't I and in the past I was always like a little picker-upper of broken birds and I'd always be like oh let me try again let me see if you can develop and improve and um, but that path doesn't work I've experienced it people are showing you their colors and you've got A's B's C's you know and I, and I hate judging people and I hate always hated judging people but I want to run an A team I want to run an A level business uh, I have to be A level myself and I have to judge myself and make sure I'm performing at that level and if I uh, agree to continue with um, very poor kind of C or D level working practices from anybody that's my fault isn't it you know because that person has already exhibited or the consultancy firm or whatever it is it doesn't really matter and um, they have exhibited their level of work and it's now over to you to decide whether their level of work is acceptable within your business or not and if you accept low level work hoping that it'll change it just won't you know I, i've got the, they're basically saying yeah 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 yeah, it'll be fine and i'm like no because all my experience has told me when you do poor level work at the beginning of a project you're going to do poor level work at the end of a project so i am much better off taking the pain now because you got you you got pain whether you do the pain now or whether you do the pain later you or i are, are going to have pain now i got the pain of finding a different consultancy firm but it's better that I do it now than in three to months time when I say to myself, well, you know what, Suze, as much as it's their fault, they gave me every sign and every indication that they were going to behave like this. And I chose to ignore those warning signs. So take the pain, in my opinion, take the pain early, cut, cut the relationship with as much respect as you possibly can. But fool me once, more fool you, fool me twice, more fool me, is really my experience of either working with folks in a business, um, either as your team or as any kind of employed consultant. Your job is to have A-listers. And if you accept B, C, D or E, you're gonna pull your business down. And why are you doing that? And this is a question that my finance director used to say to me, Suze, you're not a charity case. <laughs> yeah, I had that ringing in my ears for a little while until I decided to raise my own standards. I hope that's useful.